Tropical forests are very complicated environments that are both physically and mentally challenging. And all of these changes that we've made in here relate to helping the animals be more active and be more engaged. Primary things that we've done are to put in feeding pockets very high up, and you saw when the chimpanzees came in that um, there, was, there was food in there and then that was disguised with the bedding material. And we've put the bedding material onto cargo nets, elevated cargo nets as well, to encourage the chimpanzees to be more arboreal. Twycross Zoo um, hosts a lot of research and facilitates an awful lot of scientific work with our animals and the main premise of that is to try and improve the welfare of the animals in our care. So this particular work with the University of Birmingham is actually critical in how we design our ape enclosures and how we design the features that enable them to exhibit natural locomotion and natural behaviours. Chimpanzees can be a bit lazy and if they can stay on the ground to do things they will. And because the mesh comes right down to the bottom, they're having to duck and dive and bend around to get uh, under or over the mesh as they move. And if we can use their muscles in a different way, we can get them to build a more natural musculoskeletal system. I'm very pleased to see this research going on. This is a very positive step forward. Zoos have always been aware of the need for improving the environments of the animals that live within their care and have always strived to maintain as, as strong an environment for the animals as possible, as much as possible mimicking wild situations and testing the animals. But this is a real opportunity to integrate what we know from the academic world, from the world, from the wild research and tie it into the practical husbandry aspects that zoos are also expert in. We're developing this um, enclosure design tool to allow zoos to upload behavioural information um, and get specific tailored advice automatically using this tool. So here we've got um, the percentage of time that chimpanzees spend handling objects and this forms a very important part of all the problems they solve in the wild like foraging and using tools. The green bar here shows uh, the percentage of time that chimpanzees spend foraging in the wild and we can compare any groups that fall below this and um, get specific advice. Because great apes are predicted to be extinct in the wild within 20 years, should there become a need to use zoo animals to be reintroduced back into the wild, those animals need to have not just the genetic diversity that's required, but they also need to be behaviourally and physiologically comparable to their wild conspecifics. And our project is about ensuring that uh, younger individuals are growing up in a complex environment that is going to elicit those behavioural and physiological features that are going to be essential if they are reintroduced back into the wild.